This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The next week, Raw is in Mobile, Alabama, and according to the Observer, Shawn Michaels showed up to the event slurring his words and in no condition to perform. This is the night where they still cart him out there and let him do a promo, and he is starting to take shots at Brett, and he says, everyone knows you've been having sunny days, insinuating that Bret Hart has been having an affair outside of his marriage with the WWF diva Sonny. And Brett didn't catch the line when it happened live. It wasn't until he came home. And his father, Stu, pulled him aside and asked, hey, what's going on with you and Sonny? That's when Brett realized, holy shit, he's throwing me under the bus on TV. Did you catch the comment live? Mm-hmm. And what do you remember the fallout being from that? Well, uh, I got home and uh, talked to my son, and he said, uh, well, this Sonny, uh, I think she's a harlot, a whore. Is this one a whore or not? Tell me, son. Uh, yeah, I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Uh, it shouldn't have been. It, it, it was trying to be. Here's, what you're, here's the deal. Here's the wrestler's logic of this. Number one, in my opinion, that should not have been included in a promo. Number one. Uh, secondly, the. Um, the topic was too personal, too close to home. And then, and the main overriding issue here is that the talents are going to say, I was just trying to make it real. I'm just trying to make it real. I just want it to be realistically a uh, uh, reality based. Mm-hmm. You keep saying about you guys keep saying you want it to be reality based, be more real. Well, this is real. Well, okay. You're, you, so you can, your point can be made and say, yes, you're right about that. It's still not the right thing to do. Yeah. But I want to make it real. Yeah. But your, your reasoning is stupid. I get you want to make it real, but to bring somebody, look, Brent had children that were religious viewers of Monday night raw young influential kids. See, I give a shit about that Conrad. I right. really do. And being in the talent relations role, you got to deal with all those issues. You know, how do I tell Brett how to, uh, uh make his wife calm down? I, I don't know. So you're putting me in a position I can't address very well. And I can't solve your problem. God damn it. I wish I could. I should be able to, I can't this time all because somebody wanted to be realistically re- reality based and, and have, and be able to pop the boys especially pop their buddies. I'm sure nobody laughed louder about that sunny days remark than, than Kevin and, and Scott down in Atlanta. Our boy really got him this time. So that, I, I, I love the fact those guys had a great friendship. I don't know how close all of them are today. I'm sure that, uh, they are I hard to hear anything from Scott. Uh, he's really low, laying low. Seems to me like, hope he's well, he's a brilliant guy. Uh, Nash is a little bit more active in social media wise, but basically in politics and things of that nature, he's another smart guy really is. I've been a friend forever, but they, they took advantage of the opportunities that they had to manipulate the system. If I had those opportunities and I was in their position, I was a wrestler and I was at that stage of my career or I've got more years in, I got left then yeah, I probably would have taken advantage of it too. So I'm not, you know, it's not a choir board talking to you. I probably would have done the same thing. If most talents would take advantage of everything you can, because this shit ain't gonna last forever. The, um, the sunny days comment, Sean showing up in no condition to perform. Do you have a conversation with Vince about this? Do you try to bring it back down to reality and say, Vince, what are we doing here? Well, we did talk about it. We knew that. There's no way he could wrestle. He seemed to be impaired. Right. It, that, what my, my, or and or Vince or anybody else's, and it wasn't a secret because Sean was getting attention. He wasn't isolated in, in a locker room. He's moving around the general community, general population of the, of the prison yard. Uh, so it, 
We knew, we knew he couldn't wrestle. And then the old show must go on theory, you know, we were right in the middle of this big program and there's lot, lot, there've been a lot of other creative ways to feature Sean on the show without featuring Sean himself on the show, but that's not the decision that was, that was made. But yeah, we all, the only thing we could agree on that deal was I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't crazy about the interview because I knew he was going to use it to forward his own agenda and, uh, and hopefully it would click, but you know, you never quite knew because he had to dance to the beat of his own drum. He had to create his own content. All those things are good in theory. They're really good in theory, but sometimes the execution of those theories, uh, is just detrimental. Uh, to the team effort, but that never seemed to bother Sean at that point in time. Let's talk about King of the ring. The original plan for King of the ring 97, as we start building towards that June pay-per-view was to finally have this Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart match that most people believe was originally slated for WrestleMania. Of course it didn't happen because Sean lost his smile and had a knee injury. Sean in between time is just going to piss people off and show up at TV and do backflips off the top rope, which you couldn't do if you had a bad knee. Uh, but I think he was doing that just to stir it up and keep people talking. Like, was it a real injury? Was it not? And maybe he took it personal that people was that people were questioning the legitimacy of that injury. And I'm going to show you. And well, all he did was create more controversy. But hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.